reading aloud to you The Runaway Pumpkin Written by Kevin Lewis And illustrated by S.D. Schindler Once upon a hill, when the wind blew with a chill Wandering Buck and Billy Baxter with their baby sister, Lil. And there, upon the hillside, growing orange, fat, and fine, the budding Baxters found a pumpkin on a twisty, twirly vine. It was big and it was round, and the boys, their eyes agleam, gave a whoop, a yell, a holler, no finer pumpkin had they seen, and today was Halloween. Yet little Lil was cautious, and, of course, she tried to warn them, but her bumbling big-headed brothers snapped the pumpkin from its stem, and as she watched them roll it, at first real slow, but then much faster. Little Lil looked down the hill and foresaw disaster. Round and round across the ground, making a thumpin' bumpin' sound, came that thumpity bumpity thumpin' bumpin' round and rolly runaway pumpkin. A short way down the hillside, that zooming pumpkin caught the eye of mucking Mama Baxter, who thought of Granny's pumpkin pie. Till it busted through her sty, round and round, across the ground, making a thumpin' bumpin' sound, came that thumpity bumpity thumpin' bumpin' round and rolly runaway pumpkin. A bit farther down the hillside, just beyond the chicken coop, Grandpa Baxter saw that pumpkin and thought of Granny's pumpkin soup. Till it knocked him for a loop, round and round across the ground, making a thumpin' bumpin' sound, came that thumpity bumpity thumpin' bumpin' round and rolly runaway pumpkin. Now, at the bottom of that hillside, where that boundin' pumpkin sped, Papa Baxter on his tractor thought of Granny's pumpkin bread. But Papa Baxter used his head and quickly plowed a pumpkin bed. So at the bottom of the hillside, fat and round upon the ground, that thumpin' bumpin' pumpkin plopped and didn't make another sound. And as the pigs and hens and Baxters gathered round where Papa plowed, Little Lil, she gathered Granny and pulled her through the waiting crowd. Buck and Billy looked really proud. Then, thumpity, bumpity, thumpin, bumpin, straight to the kitchen went that pumpkin. And soon after came the smell of dear old Granny cooking something. Granny stirred and stewed and baked until the bright full moon rose up and all those hungry Baxters sat themselves down to sup. And at the center of the table, among the soup and bread and pie, sat a grinning jack-o'-lantern with a twinkle in its eye. The End I hope you enjoyed this story. For more fall autumn books read aloud, please check out my playlist in the description 
below. And for more stories, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and have a lovely day.